I wanted to run you through this little framework. We've got frameworks and our frameworks have frameworks, framework extravaganza. But this is a framework that I keep in mind because on the one hand, when I'm writing, I wanna to try to be pretty prolific. I wanna have a lot of output and I hope in having that output over time, I get better, I improve my skills, I practice the writing. It's not just drivel of output that's hopefully reasonable quality output, right? And then the way that I think about what I'm writing, we can call it content, it feels like such a weird and lazy word these days, but content is to graduate what works. And so let's imagine you've got this pyramid and you've got a whole bunch of activity happening at the bottom, just little pieces of content. It could be tweets, things you're putting on LinkedIn, little things, things that might take a minute to 10 minutes. You're putting a lot of this stuff out there. You're not trying to waste people's time with your output, but you're trying a lot of different things. And then every week you might see a few things sticking and you decide, you know what? I'm gonna turn those three things from the 10 things I did last week into something more meaningful and you graduate the content. Let's call this next kind of content just regular content. Think about that being something you could do in an hour or two. It could be a blog post, it could be a detailed LinkedIn post. And then above those two rungs of the pyramid, the pyramids have rungs, they do now, you have what I would call feats and features. Features are things that at least back in the day when I was blogging a lot, it's like, you know what, I probably need to put a half day or a day aside for this. If you're a really serious writer getting paid well, it would be more than that. But for me, it was like a half day to a day. A feature is something you're really gonna put your back into it. And so the articles that I mentioned earlier to you, I, I would say they're features. You know, they're several thousand words long and they've reached tens and tens of thousands of people. And above feature, you get feat, F-E-A-T. A feat is doing something super heroic. So you might take one thing that you've written out of the thousands of things that you've tried in months before and ask yourself, how can I turn that into something really big and maybe turn it into a flywheel? So for example, you turn it into a book, but then because you have a flywheel mentality, you turn the book into a course, you turn the characters in the book into art pieces, you turn quotes into t-shirts, etc. So this little pyramid is a good way to think about your content because you wanna keep flowing, you wanna keep testing stuff and then every now and then, could be every week or every month, you wanna look at what's working and then do more of it and take the ideas that are working for you on tour, possibly for a long time. So for example, the content in my book that took a good decade to come together. Half of it builds from one of the main courses that I teach, but the book and those courses have reached thousands of people and I've been touring them now for well over five years. And this is what you can potentially do as well.